Hey guys, how's it going? Keegan here. I just wanted to make a quick little video to introduce you guys to my brand new photography Lightroom preset pack. These presets work in Lightroom Classic CC and Lightroom CC, as well as Lightroom Mobile. So these are the presets that I've been using over the last year or so to edit all the pictures that I take of dogs. I've over time, slowly but surely created these presets to help me get to the final edit a lot faster because I don't want to spend too much time in the editing process. I really prefer going out and shooting. So I wanted to share them all with you. I think that these could be really useful if you like to take pictures of dogs as well or any pet or honestly anything else. I edit photos of people using these presets. I edit photos of spaces, real estate pictures, things like that. I've even edited a wedding using one of the presets in this preset pack. So if you're a beginner, if you're an amateur, if you're a professional, I think you're gonna like it a lot. So let's have a look at all these presets really quick and show you how I like to use them. So what I do when I open an unedited photo in Lightroom, I'll just hover my mouse over each of the presets and have a look at which ones I like the best. So, so far I'm really liking Best Morning Vibes. That one's a great preset. It brings a lot of color and punch and contrast. It's got a nice touch. I'm gonna keep going here. Golden is nice. It's a little more muted, a little less saturated than Best Morning Vibes. Uh, let's see what else looks good here. San Juan del Sur. That one is cool. Warm, vibes, soft tones. Tofino. This is a nice one too. Cooler vibes, also soft tones. So far I'm liking Best Morning Vibes the best. It's honestly pretty much finished. We could potentially, after applying this preset, just push up the shadows a little bit so that we get a little bit more visibility on the left side of Sam here. But I wouldn't do too much. I think I would leave it at that. Let's look at another picture where we'll probably need to edit it a little bit more after applying a preset. We're going to use presets uh, to get us to a starting point and then we're going to push the photo even further to make it perfect. I'm going to hover over all of these presets and choose one that I, that I really like the most. Uh, so far, most of them are looking really good, so it's sometimes a little hard to, to decide here. But I am going to go with one that you might not think is going to work right away, but it actually does. I'm going to choose Simba here. Now, right now it looks a little, a little gross, if you ask me. <laughs> it's really dark. It's kind of still ugly, even after applying the preset. And that's totally normal. Sometimes you have to make small adjustments after. All I'm gonna do after this is increase the exposure here. I'm gonna push it up until I like it. Boom, done. The photo looks pretty incredible. That's, here, let's look at the before and now the after. That's just applying a preset, pushing the exposure. So you're gonna find that when you apply a preset, it's not always the end all solution. You're gonna to have to make small adjustments, maybe push the exposure, maybe drop it down a little bit, maybe just push the shadows or the highlights, just small adjustments to get the edit right to where you want it to be. That's it, that's how I use my presets. It's actually quite a simple process. Um, if you wanna know how to install presets, you can find that video on the preset website uh, where I'm selling them, $12. I think it's a great value. It comes with 10 different presets that can apply to so many different situations and they work special, especially very well with dogs and pets, but they really work everywhere. And that's it. That's how you use a preset. I think that's all I have to say for now. So uh, cheers and have a wonderful editing experience. <laughs> Lightroom experience. <laughs> so cheers and happy editing. <laughs>